many marriages suffer because they haven't yet understood the importance of balancing the serious things in life with joy. Mm -hmm. We love the Lord, Mm -hmm. but we also know how to have fun. Mm -hmm. We know how to spend time with family, Mm -hmm. you know, dance together. You got you better know how to dance mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. Um, share together and then go and worship when it's time to worship. All right, today's uh, title, Laughing Out Loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yes. Our scripture reading is coming from Proverbs 17:22 in the NIV, the New International Version. A joyful heart is good medicine. It is. Mm. All right, for today's devotional. If I had to sum up life with David, I'd say that it's all about LOL. We laugh out loud and we love out loud. Mm. Truly, we have so much fun and as a married couple. In our marriage, we have discovered that sometimes the best counseling session for us is just a big dose of laughter. Ooh, yes. That's us too. That is us. <laughs> for that real. Is so, so much us. Sometimes David and I don't need to talk. We just need to laugh. Laughter is medicine to our souls. Laughter helps to break up the tough stuff. Laughter is one of the... See, that's what I be trying to do with you. You be like, you're not funny. <laughs> I do it all the time. I be trying to break it up. Because I want to stay mad. <laughs> <laughs> laughter is one way to break the ice when things are feeling cold in the home. Mm-hmm. We've had so many opportunities to smile and laugh together over the years. That's because it's a habit. I know every marriage works differently, but David promised me a long time ago that he would keep me smiling and keep me from crying. Well, man, he'll keep me smiling to keep me from crying. Mm-hmm. He never wanted us to get so serious about life that we forgot to laugh. Part of keeping marriage fresh means being willing to do silly things, take funny pictures, laugh until we cry, and enjoy each other's company through every situation and in every circumstance. Many marriages suffer because they haven't yet understood the importance of balancing the serious things in life with joy. Mm -hmm. We love the Lord, Mm -hmm. but we also know how to have fun. Mm -hmm. We know how to spend time with family, Mm -hmm. you know, dance together. You got, you better know how to Mm -hmm. dance together, Mm -hmm. Um, share together, and then go and worship when it's time to worship. To everything, there's a season. Can you laugh out loud with with your spouse and enjoy each other without any extra fanfare? Yes. It's never too late (laughs) to revive the laughter. The joy is worth it. I'm telling you, most of the things we argue about, we end up laughing over. (laughs) In a major way. I'm big, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you before we pray. I'm big on making memes. And so if I know that he's upset and it's gonna be funny later, because Ed's really dramatic. So sometimes in the midst of his anger, he'll do like ridiculous things. And then he'll, you know, have a pose or he'll, you know, be pouting or he'll sit there and do something like this. And she I'll, um, yeah, I take pictures and then I make memes and then I send it to him later. Yeah, yeah. Like, I might send it to my brother she, too because yeah. it'd be funny. <sighs> she is the queen of that, but that's and usually be, how I break it up because he is. don't be wanting to laugh at it. No, because so I'd be like, that's mean, that's not funny. And then I'll look at it again because it'd be I'll, so funny. And I'll snick it. She'll be like, ah, we got <laughs> phones full of these memes. Let's pray, God of compassion, God of love. You created love, joy, and laughter to remind us um, not to take life too seriously. Laughter is medicine for the soul, and we pray that you will help us to nurture a loving, peaceful marriage that brings joy in our home. Help us to be honest about our needs and give us eyes only for each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's see what these discussion questions are. Number one, how important is fun in your marriage on a scale from one to ten? Ten being extremely important. Man, twelve. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a solid ten for me. Solid ten. Like, I I can't be with nobody. We're not having fun. Yeah, we don't take each other serious. Baby, we we got to have fun. (laughs) We got to have fun. It's like how you say, like, not just even the meme. Sometimes I'll be in the middle arguing and I'll do something like, and I'm tired of this. And then you'll be like, is this? <laughs> he did it. Was be serious. <laughs> you gonna listen to me? What? And then he's bad about these little Grinch. 
Oh, the, the fingers, crunch fingers. Like this. <laughs> and so then she'll go right beside me. Now, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> She's silly. Like, she I am. Because <laughs> it's like, why are you doing that? I, I think, and, it, and maybe you can't, don't carry stress well because you do. You tighten up a lot. My body. I'm so not going to do it. She don't carry stress. So she is not going to be stressed. No, we're going to have the conversation. Yeah. But we should be able to have this conversation without you doing all this. <laughs> we'll just say extra fanfare. <laughs> Cause, cause you don't. I don't need your your tone. Oh yeah, your the tone's got to change. Volume levels <laughs> elevating. Uh, I don't need you in an aggressive posture. Right. I need you yeah. to chill out, and then we can talk about how we gonna fix what's going on. Yeah. You she gotta is. be able to laugh when the money's low. You gotta yes. be able to laugh when you oh, know yeah. life's gonna get the life in. Yes. You gotta be like, well, mm-hmm. I would love to go to Captain D's. Yes. But, you know, mm-hmm. the way things are working, we probably need to eat this. And uh, even, in situ- sandwich. even in situations where I'm just thinking, like, I could have lost a tough game. And she'll she'll respect it enough to ride home. And then we get in there, she'll be like, okay, is it too early to to make fun of how y'all played today? I usually ask. I mean, <laughs> anytime I'm about to crack a joke from something that may have been painful, I usually ask, is it too soon? Yes. And does. sometimes he'll be like, go ahead. And sometimes he'd be like, way too soon. Then I back off. She does. And I circle back around. But she she holding on to it. She ain't going to let it go. <laughs> She'll come back. Is it still too soon? I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, fun is an absolute yeah. requirement in our house. Uh, when was the last time you and your spouse laughed together until you cried? Today. <laughs> right <laughs> we'd be laughing uh, uh, till we cried though we watched Wanda Sykes special that was, it was hilarious that was we hilarious. watched Norbert the other day we watched Norbert the other up. day and fell out laughing even though a we've few seen times. it yeah like we find stuff to do cause we gotta pause Norbert and then you gotta reenact the scene and laugh some more mm-hmm. and then if you watch Norbert then you also have to go back and revisit scenes from the clumps yes. and laugh at those yes. so it's like yeah. It's always. Yeah, we kind We of, laugh at our kids. Our kids are oh, hilarious. Our kids are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they are, especially these two oh, little ones. They're always saying something. Like my I mean, not my uh Bria. Bria. I know. I get I'm so, old. I get them all. <laughs> the, uh, you don't have to tell what she said. Yeah, but. but she picked up my shirt and it was hilarious. And it's something that she would say. And she and that's another thing. Brielle is hilarious and she's a mini me of her. So I got two of them running around. Picking at me all the time. It's... And I have two needy men. Because <laughs> my son it's, acts just like this. Is his daddy. Is. <laughs> what is the primary thing hindering you from having a fun, joy-filled marriage? What can you do to enhance the joy in your marriage? So I would I would say if if we are going through times where it's harder to laugh or harder mm-hmm. to be joyous, what is happening during that time? Um, honestly speaking, either we aren't having any intimacy, mm-hmm. we aren't having sex, so that's that's usually a connector mm-hmm. for us. So we've gone through a lack of sex, either through sickness, sickness. <laughs> or the kids, maybe. Yeah. Um, that's about the only thing that yeah. <laughs> keeps us. We don't even go, like, we don't get mad enough to where we stop having sex, but usually sickness. Somebody is, sick. Yeah, somebody or sick. Or hurting in some kind yeah, of way. Yeah, in some type of way. Yeah, And so pain, pain, pain. and sickness can take mm-hmm. some joy because it's like yes. you don't even feel like. Yes. You try to crack a joke, mm-hmm. but it's like, I'm hurting so bad. Right, I don't, I don't feel like it. Yeah. And you're like, I really want my partner to yeah. cut yeah. up with, but yep. they don't feel good. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So just, I guess, during those times, just helping each other get to a better space. Yeah. If you don't feel good, let me... Serving any way I can to get to you get to you back to that joyful spot. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll holler at you what next a good time. One. All right, I enjoyed that. Yeah. For more information about our coaching services, courses, marriage tools, events, and getaways, go to onevisionerc.com. That website again is onevisionerc.com. If you had a great time hanging out with us and you got something out of it. Go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Like it so we'll know you enjoyed it and share it with somebody so they can be blessed too. We'll see you next time.